Let's see what she does with the whole one. Don't try to eat that whole thing. No, what are you- <laughs> Hey guys, Disembodied Brock here to give a special shout out to our top tier patrons on Patreon and let you know that we have some amazing Toucan merch. This all goes to help the birds and I out exponentially and we cannot thank you enough. If you'd like to help in other ways and enjoy the channel, please make sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell. We hope you enjoy, and maybe learn a thing or two about toucans. What are you doing? <laughs> you wanna sit here? Ah, ah hey, hey. <laughs> well, I, I'm trying to uh, start the video here. It is now time for another can you stop? Look, stop it. <laughs> it is now time for another fruit review. Hey, can you wait? Wait your turn. It's not time to eat them yet. Okay, we have black figs today, which is a fruit many of you have been wanting to see and I've been planning for a while and um, I, I just haven't felt like doing a normal video like this for the past couple months, and I kind of had to psych myself up to do this one. And, okay, look, hey. Okay, she's gonna already try some. Apparently she really likes it. <laughs> I was gonna introduce the fruit first. I've already washed them. Can you stop? Stop for a second, hold on. We're gonna try to cut some up for Tupac, okay? Look, okay, look, here. Look, have this one. <laughs> Let's see what she does with the whole one. Don't try to eat that whole thing. No, what are you... <laughs> oh my god. Look, we gotta cut this up first, okay? I was gonna start with a face cam, where the camera, with the camera pointed at me, and, but she's, okay, stop for a second. We're gonna cut them up. We're gonna cut here. We're gonna cut them up so that she can calm down, because I was afraid she would try to swallow that whole thing at once. And then, hey, 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 stop. <laughs> okay, give me a second, all right? Go over here. Well, sorry about that, guys. That didn't quite go how I was hoping it to, but it's a good sign. That means they're probably gonna like them. Tupac's already eyeing them. Fine, we got some cut up. And um, these are black figs, and I've mentioned before that I wanted to try figs with them because it's similar to what they would actually eat in the wild. Uh, I believe these particular figs are from Asia, but there are Central, or there's Mexican, Central, and South American species of ficus, or figs, uh, that is something that they would actually eat in the wild, and these, I've never tried them before either, so we're going to try some today with, well, all three of the birds. Rhea, look. Hey, come here. Okay, she was eating papaya down there. I probably should have uh, removed all the other foods so they'd try this <laughs> and not get distracted, but here we are. Here we are with the black fig. Tupac, let's try it, buddy. You like that? Oh. It said on the internet to eat it with the skin, so I left the skin on. Hopefully that's not unusual for them. If they don't like the, t the feel of it in there. You like that? I think he likes it. All right, let's let's see if we can get Rhea to try one. Hey, crazy bird, come here. Look. <sighs> hey, crazy bird, come here. Look what I have. You were just obsessed with them a second ago, now you don't want them? Look, this is what you wanted. Come and get it. There you go. 
He'll flip the camera around. Oh, almost dropped it. Do you have it in pieces? What are you doing? You're gonna flick it all over. Okay, yeah, just flick it all over the house. There you go. It just exploded all over the house. Perfect. Fantastic. Here, try a smaller piece. You want a smaller piece? Look. Do you not want this all of a sudden? Oh, there you go. Okay, you can come and help yourself. How about that? You like that? Did you just regurgitate that? Is the skin freaking out? No? Okay, you're good now. I was kind of afraid the skin would give it a weird texture they wouldn't like. You, you want to try more? Look, I, I left a whole half one if you want to just stick your beak in it. No, you want the big piece. Okay, you want to flick the big piece around. What are you doing besides just playing in it now? Are you actually hungry? I think she just wants to make a mess. Are you just gonna make a mess? Okay, let's not make a mess anymore, okay? Let's let's go see if Beatrix wants to try it. Want me to try one more? No. Okay, you're just gonna fling it everywhere. <laughs> well she seems to like it. I think she just stuffed her face with papaya right beforehand. Okay. What are you gonna go do with that? Let's see what she does with it. Don't try to swallow that hole. Don't try to swallow it whole, okay? <laughs> okay, let's try Beatrix now. I think I've mentioned this before, but Rhea and Beatrix cannot be out at the same time yet because if they fence right now, uh, baby toucan beaks are s still soft at this age, so I'm gonna give it a few months just and some. So nothing probably would happen, but just to be safe, I'm going to give it another few months for her beak to develop a little bit more before I give them a chance to interact, you know, in close proximity, just in case. So we're going to try Beatrix here, but I don't know if she's going to cooperate or if she's, uh, we're just going to see. Hold on. You don't like that? Well, she flew off, uh, so I had to retrieve her. I hope I didn't startle her too bad. We're gonna try again, and we're, we're just not gonna push her very hard. I know, you're scared. She had a scared poop. Here, look, food. Do you want food? Do you not like the taste of that, or are you just mad at me? Which one is it? She's, she's finally getting a... 
Oh god. Don't be scared. You're okay. She's, um, as you can see, I at least got her to hop up on my hand. But she's really, she's really nervous and scared and I can feel her breathing really heavy and her heart, little heart going, oh hey, it's okay. A little heart going fast. It's okay, all right? Don't bite my face, please. This is, I normally do not let my face get this close to her. You can see she's got more tail feathers than she ever has and they look, I mean, they're not the best tail feathers, but they're way better than what she had. I don't think she even remembers how to preen her tail feathers. She hasn't had any probably since she was a little baby, if, if even at all. <sighs> I don't know how this ended up into a Beatrix update video, but she's at least, she'll, she'll perch on me sometimes like this. Reluct, very, very reluctantly. You can see she's not really enjoying it that much. And if I move my fingers, which I would like to move them out of the way of her. No, uh, hey. She gets a little bit scared. You want to go back to your enclosure? Maybe we can put some, put some figs in your bowl a little bit later and see if you like them. Would that be all right? Okay. Well, I'm going to go put her back in there because I don't want to scare her anymore. But, um, we'll, we'll come back. Well, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to film this video now, but I'll, fin I'll finish it up some way. So we'll be back in a little bit. We'll have to give Beatrix some time, but why don't, why don't I try some with Tupac here? Do you not want this now? There we go. All right, I'm gonna try a little bit now, and we'll just see what happens. It's not bad. It's not as sweet as I was expecting it to be. It's got kind of a, a little bit of an earthy flavor to it. It's like kind of a sweet, earthy flavor, if that makes sense. I can understand why the toucans would like it. It's very, it seems to have a lot of moisture in it. Um, and it's fairly, I mean, it's fairly tasty. You want more? Tupac seems to like it. I mean, I wouldn't mind eating these. They're not bad at all. You want to keep going? Any second. There you go. <laughs> you like that? Well, we'll give. We'll wait for Beatrix's review, and then we'll give the final verdict. But so far, it's looking at least like three out of four, at least. And if Beatrix likes it, it could be four out of four. You know, could be a good choice to supplement some of the fruits. I'll have to look a little bit more into the nutritional value of the individual, because I know there's many different types of figs, so I'll have to look into these specifically. But it could be a pretty decent fruit to actually incorporate into their diet more frequently, kind of like I've been doing with the dragon fruit lately. Um, ever since we did that dragon fruit video, I'll buy dragon fruit periodically and mix it in with everything else that I give them. So this could be one of those fruits where it could be the same thing. If I find some figs, can mix it in there, give a little variety, they like it and if it's safe for them to eat regularly I could definitely see that happening but I'll have to look into it sorry the lighting isn't the best in here guys but we're gonna try our best here with Beatrix don't get scared look I got food for you
Well, she's carrying it around. All right, well, I don't think we're gonna get anywhere with Beatrix today, unfortunately. We're gonna give her a half a can. How about that? And we'll say three and a half cans out of four for figs. And we'll try other figs in the future. But I don't want to stress Beatrix out any more than she needs to be. And maybe, maybe they're a little more nervous today because of the weather. Usually they don't react to that sort of thing. But I can't. She's acting a lot more fidgety than she usually does today. Anyways, thanks so much guys for watching. We will catch you next time. Love each and every one of you. Make sure to hang out with the or on the live stream with us soon. And we will see you next week. Well, actually, we'll see you for the live stream on Friday. <laughs> well, which is probably tomorrow by the time you're seeing this, because I'm super late. But anyways, guys, see you soon. And everyone have a great day.